On a Sunday, 14 weeks after Easter, in the month of Tammuz, or July, Assyrians around the world celebrate Nusadim. It is a cherished summer festival where participants playfully soak each other with water as a gesture of blessing in the hot summer months. While the festival is an important and holy feast within the Assyrian Church of the East, the origins of the ritual date back to pre-Christian antiquity in Mesopotamia. The exact etymology of the term Nusadil, also referred to as Musardil or Musardil, is still unclear. Some say it comes from the modern Assyrian Mariestet Il, which translates to the sprinkling of the god. This could also relate to the ancient Akkadian word Mu Salithu, Mu being the ancient word for water, and Salithu referring to the act of dripping or sprinkling. Another possibility could be that Nusad may come from the old Persian word for new year or new life, combined with the Assyrian word for God, which is El. This terminology may have been coined by the Church of the East when it was the national church of the Neo-Persian Empire. The church may have also incorporated the ancient and revered water festival into the celebration of Christian baptismal rites. The festival also commemorates St. Thaddeus or Marede of Edessa, who converted a huge crowd of Assyrians to Christianity in the first century CE by splashing water on them as part of a mass baptism. The pre-Christian origins of Nusardil stem from the mythic love story between the fertility goddess Ishtar or Inanna and Tammuz, a shepherd and the god of agricultural growth. In the story, Tammuz angers Ishtar and she banishes him to the underworld. His banishment causes drought on the land and Ishtar regrets her choice as she retrieves her husband. The Assyrian retelling of the myth was found on cuneiform tablets in the library of Ashurbanipal in Nineveh and gave instructions for a ritual called Taklimtu, or religious offering. The Taklimtu was held every year during the month of July called Tammuz in Assyrian and featured the bathing of a statue of the god Tammuz with holy water as a symbol of his rebirth and the return of health to the land and crops. Traditionally, Nusadda was celebrated among Assyrians in the streets and churchyards of Assyrian villages and towns in Iraq, Syria, Iran, and Turkey. People of all ages would excitingly douse each other with buckets of water and family, neighbors, and strangers would all get soaked. In Mosul, for instance, the non-Assyrian neighbors knew to steer clear of the streets on Nusadda. But for those who wanted to participate, they would be sure to walk away equally drenched. Today, Nusadil is undergoing its own rebirth in communities of Assyrians around the world in the diaspora. Nusadil celebrations are still being held in churchyards and picnic grounds, with children enjoying the chance to soak their elders and maybe even the parish priest. But larger and more public celebrations celebrating Nusadil are also growing in popularity, and buckets are now joining huge numbers of water balloons, fancy water guns, and dunk tanks as ways to make sure everyone gets wet. By also showcasing Assyrian music, folk dances, and food, these public festivals are providing our communities a chance to introduce the Assyrian culture and heritage to everyone while keeping our traditions alive in the diaspora. مريس مريس تكمي يعني شنقد ماما تتخيل جي تخنق لك القشي تبخد وتوب أصغى توتا مريس مريس تكمي يعني شنقد ماما تتخيل جي تخنق لك القشي تبخد وتوب أصغى توتا مريس مريس تكمي يعني Nicht im Ritter, Mama, zu treiben.